Welcome to People Tech, the podcast of the HCM Technology Report. I'm Mark Pfeffer. Today, I talk with Adam Gordon and Ulysses Orozco. They're the co founders of PTO Genius, a platform that lets companies convert unused time off to help employees fund retirement, vacations, or emergency expenses. They'll tell us about the thinking behind their product and get into how it works. That's on this edition of People Tech. Adam, Ulysses, thanks for being here. You guys have an interesting proposition, which is using PTO as a strategic tool. How does that work? Adam? Sure. So just to give some, some perspective here. So PTO is the second most requested benefit across all workforce generations. And right now, a lack of work-life balance is the number two reason why people leave an organization. So you know, 36% want better compensation and benefits. 25% of people want better work-life balance. That's according to a recent SHRM study. So you know, it's not that people don't want to work. It's that they want to be more present wherever they are. Right. And so when you're at home, you want to be present with your, you know, your, your, yourself, significant other, your family. And when you're at work, you want, you want the same thing and your employer wants the same thing. You know, they don't want you stressed about your finances or other things in your life. They want you to be present and you do too. It's going to, you know, you're going to bring your best self when you're, when you are. So you want your employees to be there uh, to give you their all. And, you know, you don't want to drive them into the ground because you're going to get less and less from them. So it's really about, you know, it's going to reflect in the bottom line. So PTO is really not just about what it was like back in the day of, oh, I have two weeks of vacation. I'm going to, you know, use it. It's really more of an element to help acquire talent right now, but also to be able to increase productivity, profitability, and help show that you want to become an employer of choice and attract that talent out there that, that, that the uh, turnover tsunami, which is happening right now, is an opportunity for you as a company to be able to separate yourself from the pack and show why people should come work for you every day. How does it work? Because, you know, you mentioned PTO used to be you get two weeks off a year and that was it. But I think everybody does still think about PTO as being something that's kind of part of the package. So how do employers leverage it so that there's more to it than a simple compulsory benefit, as it were? Yeah, sure. You you want to take that one? Yeah, yeah. You know, it it comes down to a few things. One is really driving home the point that the organization wants you to take time off. Uh, Because, yeah, you're absolutely right, Mark. Frequently, companies, it's almost, you know, just a bullet point. It's almost just a check mark that you have to have in your employee benefits package. Uh, but, but, But very much infrequently, and I think this is why some companies are having challenges, is that they don't really, uh, you know, talk about it. They don't really encourage their managers to, to talk to their employees about it. They don't check in about burnout. They, they don't track burnout. We've talked to so many companies that don't have ways to track burnout. And, and uh, so one is, again, just really saying, hey, we care about you getting away because when you're here, we want you to really be present and here. When you're home, we want you to be present and home and with your family and, and, and resting. So, uh, yeah, one is, is, is talking about it, creating a culture of, of uh, you know, I hate to use the word uh, in, in enforcing because that's not what you want to do, but certainly promoting, uh, uh, you know, PTO. And it starts with simple things like just, you know, adding it to your PTO policy. Like, hey, there's an expectation that you will disconnect and, and, and so on and so forth. You know, what does PTO genius do? Yeah. So we build innovative technology. We help organizations really transform their employee experience and boost their profitability by really unleashing the power of their PTO. So our AI powered software, we help companies really optimize, automate, and reimagine their paid time off to help uncover hidden opportunities to really decrease burnout, like Yuli said, reduce costs and improve employee loyalty. So we do that by plugging into a company's HRIS system or PEO. Uh, and really just layer on top of, of their PTO uh, uh, policy now and then enhance it and give them these companies the ability to really personalize it. So like Yuli said, companies that don't know how to track burnout, we built the technology that identifies when employees are burned out. 
companies don't know at scale the best times to get employees out of the office. We build technology to help service those opportunities for people and nudge them to get away, which frees up precious time for HR and managers. We inspire people to get away by servicing really fun and exciting trips and things for them to do that uh, motivate them to want to go take time off. And that just that uh, helps the organization a lot of ways. And then for companies that maybe want to think about financial wellness in a new way, they can let employees use a small portion of their accrued PTO to contribute towards their financial wellness in different ways. They can put some of their PTO into retirement, into their HSAs, paying down student loans, even college savings and charity are accessing, and accessing it as emergency cash. So we just give companies an ability to look at PTO in a different way to make it more powerful and more impactful for them and their employees. Ulysses, you want to add to that? Yeah, it's, uh, so it's basically a more personalized approach to pay time off, right? Because um, we all know that... Uh, all employees have different needs and different requirements. And, you know, some people need more time off. Some people burn out easier. Some people, you know, are, are stressed because they, they, they can't pay down their student loan, you know? So it's really about being able to empower your uh, employees in, in, a, in, in a very personalized way to do more with their pay time off. So is it fair to say that if an employer gives people, let's say, you know, two weeks, of, of time off. They're still only giving two weeks, but you're giving them the tools to do more with that two weeks to make sure people take it to try to build the idea of, of time off into the culture a little bit. Oh yeah. 100%. We, you know, we're not saying, Hey, we're coming into a company. Now you've got to give everyone three weeks. We're not, we're not, you know, we're not saying that. What we're saying is let's take those two weeks and let's actually make them impactful. You know, Let's let's ensure that people go away and let's make sure that that we promote them, you know, going away when it's non disruptive. Right. And a lot of times companies don't know when that is. Uh, employees uh, don't know what that is or and or, or or if they do, they they shy away from those dates because some people just feel awkward about taking time off during certain times. So, um, you know, that 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 is is real powerful. Right. Uh, and, and that's really what we focus on. So who's doing this? Is it is it large companies, medium-sized companies, small businesses, all of them? Can you give me a sense of of who your customers are? Yeah, it's uh it's really it's all across the board. It's uh, we work with companies as small as uh you know 50 and we have companies we're working with as large as uh Fortune 100. So a lot of forward-thinking companies are now really starting to look at uh, PTO and compensation and benefits and say, how can we revisit this or look at this differently or take advantage of the last 18 months and use that as an opportunity to help us kind of b- prepare for the future in the modern workforce and lean into that. And it's uh, all industries, manufacturing, technology, banking, insurance, uh, it's really a wide variety. Are they all using the platform in essentially the same way? Or do you find that different companies take different approaches depending on industry or size or something else? Yeah, the latter. Uh, it's, uh, it's based on their PTO policy, their pain points, their priorities and their culture and, and, uh, and their goals. And then based on that, we customize the platform to echo those. Yeah, no, it, you know, exactly what Adam said. It's a very bespoke solution. You know, we, you know, we don't push one mantra over another. We just want to create the solution that uh, lets the company uh, um, do do the best that they can with uh, with their policy. Obviously, the last eighteen months have been kind of funky, you know, in the in the business world and in the the HR world in particular, because of COVID and layoffs. Now, people can't companies can't find people to come back and take jobs. How do you think that the post-COVID dynamics that we're seeing are going to impact first how companies view PTO, but also more specifically how it's going to impact your roadmap and your business? Sure. So I'll take the first part, Yuli, if you want to take the second part. So, you know, I think, Mark, to your point, it's a great question. You know, when, when COVID first hit, a lot of you know, people were accruing PTO at a rate higher than ever before in the history of since we've been tracking PTO. And people didn't have a way to take time off. They were getting burned out. And uh, it really resonated and it sent a, uh, 
uh, an impression to a lot of companies. And I think to your point, it forced them to rethink, okay, well, how can we show comp- employees that we really care about them having work-life balance and being out of the office so that when they come back, they're present and they're well-rested. And I think that we're really starting to see companies modify and change their policies to help them uh, really speak to that point and tell employees, hey, we listen to you. We, we really care about you. We don't want to just talk about it. We actually want to show you that we can do that. And we're seeing them really change a lot of things in their policies, either even whether it's adding more days of time off, making the policies more flexible, uh, allowing people to perhaps roll over or do other things that are creative inside PTO to just help them demonstrate that, look, we want to make sure that we don't have employees burning out at a rate that they were during the pandemic. So if we can get ahead of this and show and, and promote and make sure that people take time off, we can keep people at their best and keep them happy. And that's going to benefit us and the company. Now, I, I have this picture in my head of, of you guys going into a prospect company and saying, okay, we're going to tell you how to do more with your PTO, and how, to, how to make it a bigger part of your culture, <clears throat> an, an advantage to your employer brand, kind of raising their eyebrows because it's a, you know, it's, it's sort of an interesting opening statement. Um, when you first introduce this concept to employers, what's the reaction you get, and how do you overcome any hesitance? Uh, Yuli, you want to take that one? Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's it's funny, right? And and so uh, sometimes it's like, oh, we're doing enough with our PTO. Our PTO is just fine. You know, uh, because a lot of people aren't looking at PTO, right? But more and more companies, because of of COVID, and and and, and have really started to to take a step back and, and look at everything, and say, is is this really the best way to do things? Uh, should should we be doing something different now that the you know the world is changing from the standpoint of the way we work, from the standpoint of the way that. You know, our, 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 you know, division of, of personal time and professional time has just merged even more now that so many people are working from home. So uh, at first it was, oh, we're, we're, we're doing enough with our PTO. And then we would start to tell them and they're like, oh, we're not doing enough with our PTO at all, you know. And so it, it's, it's made the conversation very interesting where uh, we've been able to spark a lot of creativity and, and conversations, not just around PTO, but about the way that sh- they should be looking at benefits in general. Right. Yeah. So it's, it's been uh, it's been real good that way. And, and COVID and I hate to, to, to say this because it sounds I mean, I, I hope it doesn't sound bad, but, it, you know, it's been helpful in that way. I mean, hurtful in so many other ways, but it's been helpful in that way that it's given people a moment to pause, take a breath and say, how could we do more with the things we already have? What do employees think of this whole idea? Oh, they, they love it. <laughs> Do they, yeah, do they love it you know, instantly? Go ahead, or, go ahead. Well, let me just follow up. I mean, do they love it instantly or do they need to have it explained to them? Do they get sort of a little nervous when you talk about coming in and doing things with PTO? Employees we have seen love it. Uh, you know, we've even spoken with employees that, may, that, that we were just talking to as, let's say, friends or just acquaintances. And they say, gosh, I, I would love for my company to have this hat. Can I connect you with the right person? So... I think it really resonates just based upon that, this big holistic point that you brought up, Mark, which is that, you know, people, you know, they're not machines, they need time off. And I think the last 18 months have really taught us that, you know, if you want people to be at their best and to be present, you got to give them the proper work-life balance and let them be able to be present when they're, you know, it's like a professional athlete. When they're on the court, they're giving you their best. And if you want that as as a team owner of your team, you want to make sure that when those people aren't at practice or aren't at the game, that they're relaxing, they're chilling out, they're, they're, they're catching their breath. And it's no different for working professionals like all of us. So we're really seeing that message resonate with employees. And once, the, once they understand the concept, they're all about it. And at that point, it's how do we bring it into the organization? What's the right way to bring it, release it to the workforce there to make sure that it, 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 it echoes what the company's uh, priorities are and what their culture is and to make sure that it fits well and meshes with their benefits package and, and what they want for their employees and the vision of the company. Did um, did COVID-19, well, I'm assuming COVID-19 had an impact on your business because it had an impact on everybody's business, but what was the impact of COVID-19 on your, on your roadmap, on your development, your timeline, 
you know, your business. Yeah. Um, looking back, it was, it was great for our business. Well, let me just say first, it's unfortunate that of course COVID happened, but looking back, it was great for our business because it speaks to the things that, that, that we focus on, which we've talked about, you know, helping get people out of the office, burnout, a lot of things that affected organizations, you know, hospitals are some of our greatest clients nationwide because they have all these people who are working on the front lines and need time off and didn't have a way to be able to catch their breath. So we've seen a lot of impact uh, across a wide variety of organizations and how it's been able to uh, really benefit them and their employees. And it's benefited us as well. And it's helped make us smarter. We've had some great use cases and business cases that have helped challenge us. That's helped create some new features of our platform. And also lastly, COVID has helped us really prioritize and focus. You know, we had a lot of really cool things in the roadmap. But as COVID was intensifying and we were starting to speak with more companies, we had to prioritize and say, all right, well, which things on our platform are the most impactful for people right now based on what we're hearing versus what are things that we would like to do that maybe now we should put off for, towards later and focus on the needs of our clients first. Lucy, is anything you want to add? Yeah. Yeah. You know, just to expand on, on, on that last part, it's, you know, you're, you're talking to companies and there's a lot of things that, you know, you're, you know, you're both thinking to yourselves, gosh, that, 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 that's great. But we really need to focus on the burnout element. We really need to focus on making sure that employees are, 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 are taking their time off and maybe travel is something that we should be turning off for now. Right. So it's, it kind of changed the, like the menu, if you will, of the, the, the different functionality that, that, that most of the companies turn on in the beginning uh, versus before, you know, in the, it was just like, okay, well, I want this, this, and this, I want travel. I want that. And, which is now, you know, coming full circle, right? Now companies are like, hey, great, let's turn travel on, you know? Um, but it, it certainly changed the way that they approached how to customize a platform and, and, and how to speak to the way that they want their policies to work. Oh, Adam, Ulysses, thanks so much for being here today. Thank you for having us, Mark. We appreciate thank it. You. And also thank you for all that you do for the uh, you know, HR community. I've been talking with Adam Gordon and Ulysses Orozco, co-founders of PTO Genius, a platform that helps employers reimagine their approach to time off. And this has been People Tech, the podcast of the HCM Technology Report. We're a publication of Recruiting Daily. People Tech is part of Evergreen Podcasts. To see all of their programs, visit www.evergreenpodcasts.com. And to keep up with HR technology, visit the HCM Technology Report every day. We're the most trusted source of news in the HR tech industry. Find us at www.hcmtechnologyreport.com. I'm Mark Pfeffer. The world's best-known investor and Wall Street expert, Warren Buffett, once said, Wall Street is the only place that people ride to in a Rolls Royce to get advice from those who take the subway. Mr. Buffett's quote is remarkably accurate, but how many people would rather receive advice from him than someone simply guessing? Welcome to Buy, Hold, Sell, your single source for Wall Street knowledge and profitable guidance. Please join me, Todd Schoenberger, and fellow trader Tobin Smith, as well as host Veronica Dudo, for a podcast known to move the needle for investors. Tobin and I are seasoned Wall Street executives with deep investment experience, and we are prepared to share our advice to those who choose to listen. Download Buy, Hold, Sell today on the Evergreen Podcast Network or your favorite podcast channel. Do you love news about LinkedIn, Indeed, Google, and just about every other recruitment tech company out there? Hell yeah. I'm Chad. I'm Cheese. We're the Chad and Cheese Podcast. All the latest recruiting news and insights are on our show. Dripping in snark and attitude. Subscribe today wherever you listen to your podcasts. We We out. out.